campus. The opposition leader, Kamla Prasad Basasa, says there's a conflict of interest as it pertains to the sale of shares under Trinidad and Tobago National Gas Limited. During his budget presentation, the Minister of Finance had announced the sale of public assets with the shares of Trinidad and Tobago NGL Limited. They expect to gain $1.5 billion from the sale of the shares. According to the annual report of Trinidad and Tobago NGL, the main shareholders are NGC, NIB, Unit Trust, National Enterprise Limited, Tato, Deposit Insurance Corporation, RBL, Michael and Helen Moses, and Anthony N. Sabga. Four of the five directors appointed are associated with the companies. And these persons are Mr. Jerry Brooks, mm. Andrew Jupiter, mm. Anna Ragbir, mm. and Ashmi Mohammed. Mm. Now, very interesting revelations emerge when you search the directors of the companies now who are shareholders for the TTNGL. And that's why it's what, what, what um, a web you weave mm -hmm. when first you practice to deceive. They are all interlocking directorates and persons going on here. The opposition leader says the matter must be investigated. In one moment in time, the control of, the control of this multi-billion dollar enterprise shifted. Does this sound right? Does this sound right? And it gets worse. The government apparently are not yet satisfied. The Minister of Finance has now come to Parliament and disclosed that government will divest TTNGL shares, but they only want to sell to whom? Existing shareholders. Attorney General Faris Rawi wants opposition leader Kamla Prasad Basasa to give details about the alleged conflict of interest involving Trinidad and Tobago NGL Limited Chairman Jerry Brooks in relation to the sale of the company's assets. You have to ask her specifically, without the privilege of Parliament, exactly what she means and what she says. And I bet you anything on God's earth that she will not be able to answer. Because to see it outside of parliamentary privilege would be a very interesting thing to hear. He said Ansa McCall is one of the largest institutions in Trinidad and Tobago and called the opposition leader's claims spurious. The Attorney General countered that there should be questions surrounding a former Minister of Finance. My question to you is, so what? Right now, Larry Hawaii is a member of the Board of Directors of Ansa McCall. Are we to draw conclusions in relation to that? I mean, that's just nonsense. They are an independent entity and they have own a large amount of interest in Trinidad and Tobago, which employs thousands of people. And they are a publicly traded company. 